up your brown book, baby. It's for you, it's for us, the fantasies. No one can judge us, no one can judge us. This is for us. Open up your brown book, baby. Hey y'all, hey, it's your girl Shay Baby, and welcome back to another episode of the Brown Book Series. Yo, y'all know what it is. It's six o'clock, and six o'clock is Wednesday, and the Brown Book Series is on, and I have a special treat for you tonight. Y'all always say, y'all, I know y'all saying, Shay, y'all always have a special treat, but it be true. I got special treats, but I got two special treats tonight. Oh my gosh, so we'll give y'all time. You know how y'all do, go get your drinks. Tell everybody Brown Book Series is on and come on back for the dynamic duo. They're like Batman and Robin, you know what I'm saying? But only better because, you know, Robin, he only had a couple of words. He couldn't really, you know, anyway. So <laughs> the dynamic duo, New York Times bestselling authors, Max Monroe. See you in a few. Brown Book Series presents Raw. 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 Romance readers and writers experience. Save the date. October 28th and 29th, 2022. Brown Book Series presents Raw. Romance readers and writers experience. October 28th and 29th, 2022. At the Western Old Town of Alexandria. Featuring some of your favorite romance authors. Brenda Jackson. Beverly Jenkins. Iris Bowling. Deborah Fletcher Mello, and so much more. The Raw Experience will include book signings, meet and greet, photo ops, vendors, shopping, surprise celebrity guests, and live performances. Registration is wide open at brownbookseries.com. Save the date, October 28th and 29th, 2022. Brown Book Series presents R R R R A A W W experience. And we are back. That whole little ah, experience at the end, like you know, if he like was a, a narrator, it'll be you know, it'll hit a little different. Anywho, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> running right to the stage for the very first time here at the Brown Book Series, New York Times and USA Today's best-selling authors, Max Monroe. Yay! Hi. Hi, ladies. How are you? Hi. Yes. It's so good. We're excited to be here. I'm excited you guys are here, honey, because y'all know. Everybody know I have my choice of authors who I just love talking to. And I was like, where's the hell? It's Max Monroe. Why haven't I talked to them? <laughs> and then they're like, Shay, guess who you're talking to? I'm like, who? <laughs> well, I said, what I added to who? <laughs> I was like, oh. <laughs> how are you, ladies? How are you guys doing today? We're good. We're doing really well. Yeah. I mean, we're wearing matching outfits. We so we literally are. We have oh my God, let me see. Target. We went, to, we went to Target and you know what happens. And we just ended up with two matching outfits. And a karaoke machine. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Y'all are my kind of girl. <laughs> Here we are. <laughs> we were literally doing the karaoke last night in the hotel room. Like it. Yes. Pretty yeah. sure we were going to get kicked out. We must. Because... Yeah. <laughs> I would have been awesome. Oh, my God. I wish you guys would have called me. Oh, my God. I my portion from here. <laughs> yes. Yeah. That is absolutely awesome. Now, Max, look, Max Monroe, the, the, the Monroe girls, honey. Because we'll get into all that in a few minutes. Yeah. Well, maybe we need to get into that right now so then I can ask separate questions. Well, okay. no, hold on. Wait a minute. No. Okay. This is what we're going to do. Ooh, the struggles of it all. I'm so excited. I ain't get my shit. Because <laughs> we go, we go, we go dissect who's who, the witches, and you know what I'm saying? And which is so cool though, because even just the name itself is just like, okay, this is crazy. But outside the literary world, I mean, mm -hmm. y'all introduce which one's Max me, which one's Monroe. <laughs> Let us know, like, what is it is in the day in the life of Max and Monroe? Okay. Outside the literary world. Okay, okay. We'll get into that later. Outside of like writing books what are yeah, we like outside, outside? Yeah, what it is in a day of the life like but outside of writing books like how is your day what do you do do you like this is some bullshit i'm in the bed all day like what is <laughs> <laughs> i wish I, oh I, my I, gosh i, I, I used to be wish. so good at sleeping in i'm horrible at it now um what's my life like outside of i mean we work a lot we really do uh-huh probably too much um yes. I know what your life is like outside of it. What is it like? She drinks a lot of coffee. Yes. 
oh. and sits outside like on her porch with her husband. Yeah. She has an 11 year old son. Mm -hmm. um, I have a doll. I have a lab. She has a, a silver lab. She has a silver lab. I have a chocolate lab. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, yeah. I mean, outside of working, I, you know, my husband, my husband and I hang out a lot. We'll watch movies and um, I think I'm more of a homebody than I probably so. should be. I think the pandemic kind of ruined that for all of us. And yeah, so we all kind of got into habits. Um, but yeah, that's. Mm -hmm. And she she goes by Monroe for yeah. our purposes. I'm um, the Monroe. You're Monroe, right? Yes. 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 Right, Max. So um, I my life outside of work and books <laughs> is I have um, a three year old toddler. Oh, you're busy. <laughs> <laughs> and a ten He's like the yes. most wild toddler. He's very, very oh wild. God. And I have He's a ten year old. Oh boy. So, but the ten year old's pretty easy. Yeah. Um, the the uh, except for occasional attitude. But the the three year old is he takes up a lot of time because he's pretty wild. And um we live, I live on a farm, and so oh. My husband and I spend a lot of time mm -hmm. outside. That's pretty yeah. much what we do. That is so cool, though. Yeah. That's freaking cool. cool. And she said, it is funny because when I hear um, people talk about their sons, their toddlers, they be like, oh, yeah, they're wild. I'm like, yeah, he all boy. Uh-huh, mm -hmm. he is. All oh, boy. I'm 25% bruises, I think. Yeah. <laughs> He's wild. I absolutely love that. You got... Oh Lord, calm down, Scooby. <laughs> yeah, excuse him. You know he's he's just you know wild. He's wild. He's all boy too. He's wild. <laughs> yeah, he's five. His birthday was just the uh, the other day, so he's just like you know, he's just off the chain. You know, people in the driveway. He's like, "What's going on, mom? I hear voices. I hear people." It's like, you know. <laughs> so, how did you guys come up with the the pseudonym of Max Monroe? Like, what made you? Um, do this collaboration because individually, mm -hmm. you guys are awesome. It's almost like the song says, uh, "I'm a beast all by myself," but it's just awesome when we together. Like you know, so it's like, how did you come up with this collaboration? Well, I mean, we had both been writing um, mm -hmm. on our own separately, and we were close friends, um, and we were both kind of going through kind of hard times in our personal life. Everybody reaches those times where you right. you, know, you got more struggles than normal. Um, and, we, everybody. <laughs> yeah, like, and we just wanted to have fun. Um, and one of us, we don't remember at this we point, which one him. said like, maybe we should write a book together. It's the one so, who purchased the karaoke machine. That's the one who said let's write a book together. I already know. Both of us. Both of us. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so we, um, we decided to write together and we decided from the beginning, you know, cause we didn't know what was going to happen. We had never written a book together. So we were like, let's, you know, if we end up publishing this, let's like, keep it anonymous. Let's just, we'll come up with a pen name. And, um, that way readers who have read our other books have no expectations. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah. And then it was like the most fun we've ever had writing mm -hmm. a book together. Yeah. And it worked out. It and worked here out. we are. Here we it are. Really did. It really worked out. Yeah. What's the process, though? Because I, when I see people, well, there's not that many, you know, um, duos. Mm -hmm. But, like, even, like, the ones who write anthologies together. Mm -hmm. Like, what's the process? Do you, like, okay, I'll take this character and I'll take this character. Or are you, like, I'll take these half? Like, how, what's your process in order? Because when you're reading your books, you can't tell yeah. there's a difference it's like you know the the cohesiveness of it all is just crazy i was wow. like they lie this is one damn person they it's, it's <laughs> not because you know like how does that it, it blends so good together so how do you guys how do you do that well first of all thank you for the huge compliment yes. that you can't tell that's who right that's it. facts that ain't no that's facts <laughs> <laughs> um and the what you're i mean you're gonna think we're crazy yeah. is that we write it different every time um, sometimes we do take characters. Sometimes we'll just pass it back and forth. Sometimes we'll break up and she'll write 10 chapters and then I'll write 10 chapters. Sometimes she'll write the front half of the book and I'll write the back half of the book or 
I mean, we do it different every time. Every book, literally, every book. we we reinvent the wheel every, every time. time. Yeah, and um, <laughs> but the the cohesive comes from uh, two things. Number one, we're very much on the same page mm-hmm. writing wise. I mean, personality wise, we're similar, but we also have differences and are different people. But when we're writing, our brains work very similarly. Yeah, and. Then like a also we revise everything. Yes. Both of us revise everything. So no matter if she was the primary writer on a chapter or I was, we both are revising that thoroughly. So we're reading and evaluating every word. Mm-hmm. Um, so usually our biggest problem is that we use the same jokes twice and then have to take one out. Yeah. Right. That's because usually because I'll we, write it in one part and then she'll write it in the other part. Cause we, I mean, we really are, I mean, it's probably crazy how in sync we are a uh-huh. lot of the time. Yes. When it's like, when it's a certain subject matter, we think the same way and have the same humor and we usually yeah. come up with the same thing and then we have to take it out. Cause it's only funny <laughs> one time. <laughs> That is, it's almost like a marriage, you know, because some people ask, like, how does a marriage work? It's like the foundation is the same. Yeah, we have our different personalities, whatever, when it, but when it when it counts, when it matters, we all on the same, on, on one accord. So, yes, for sure. That, that's what's up. Look at y'all. Yeah. <laughs> y'all yeah. like friendship soulmates. That's why some people are like, yo, we you got one. Yeah, we like are. Different, type yeah. Of, different type of soulmates and stuff. It's just, you know. Yes. Yes. We do say that we're writing soulmates. Yeah. That you said that it's very funny because that is our writing is what it works. It just we just work mm-hmm. we have there's no system. It's just we just do it together. Like mm-hmm. that's yeah. I it's absolutely cool. I absolutely love it. I love it. Now, okay, so this individual question. Um Max, you can go first. Okay. Um how did you know that publish that you want to be an author? That being an author is your thing. I don't care. I love it. I'm re- I'm writing it. Bye. This is it. <laughs> so, okay. how did you know? I, so I actually knew by doing. Um, I was not the kid who knew that I wanted to be a writer growing up. That I thought that was my thing. I I didn't know from an early age. I went to college for meteorology, so I have a science degree. Um, Did the wild girl too? That's what I'm saying. Yes. <laughs> yes. Inside joke. People are like, what are you talking about? It's inside. You had to be there, y'all. Inside joke. Oh <laughs> yes. So I went for meteorology, which I really do have a passion for. Um, but I I was really avidly reading and I had an interest. I think maybe I could do this. I think I would want to do this, but I didn't know if I could. I really didn't know. So it really came for me when I I wrote my first book, which let's not talk about my first book. I mean, that's like, you know, but at the time, I think I wrote it in like two weeks and I was like, I could do this, you know, mm-hmm. because it just clicked and um, it was fun, like really invigorating mm-hmm. and fulfilling. And um, so it, it clicked that that was what I should be doing. Um, and so then I started and I, I mean, I wrote for a while on my own um, and worked really hard at it. And I would say got to mediocre success. Um, but when we got together, then it was when it really clicked of like, mm-hmm. now this is where it's at. <laughs> this is where the magic resides. <laughs> All right, cool. And you? Well, I writing was always something I really enjoyed from little on. Um, that I was always writing, whether it was journaling, writing stories, writing poetry. Um, that was always my thing. Um, yeah. But I did veer. You know, I when I graduated high school and I went to nursing school and I was a nurse oh, for. Cool. A, um, but I never, like, I, I enjoyed the job, but I had a pattern of always changing kind of what I was doing with nursing. So, oh. you know, I do ER and then about, you know, two years in, okay, I want to change this up. Then I do ICU, then I do labor and delivery. And it really, because I wouldn't say that it was my full passion. It was um, just a job. It wasn't a passion. Yeah. 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 So I started writing. Um, I've always been an avid reader and 
kind of like what Max did, like, I don't think I'm going to give this a shot. Like, I'm going to actually sit down and write a book. Um, and I just really love doing it. And it fulfilled kind of what I felt like was missing, right? Mm -hmm. um, but it wasn't really until we started writing together that it just felt like it was a whole piece. Mm -hmm. um, and I think because writing on your own is very solitary. So right. we, you know, together, like there's just, we have a, a support system. It's instilled throughout the whole writing process. Mm -hmm. And it's really nice when you're both working on a book and you both are supporting each other through it. Right. You just, it's not the same if you're writing on your own, even if you've got a good support system with your family or you've got a great editor, it's just not the same. Gotcha. So yeah. that's pretty much, you know, we're yeah. lucky that way for sure. Yeah, for sure. And we're lucky to have y'all, honey, because I was like, listen, I absolutely love it. And speaking of writing books, it brings us to the first segment here in the Brown Book Series called Name That Book. Will we okay. give you a <laughs> give you a name of a character, a synopsis, <laughs> or a passage, or something from one of your books, and you have to name that book. Now it's two of y'all, so y'all should get this. Okay. Okay. I'm nervous. But I'm <laughs> excited. I'm nervous. So you, all you guys got some series. So if we gave you a character, is the character of that main book? You know that they're there. Okay. Like, okay. The hero or the heroine. And let me put my glasses on, so y'all know I can't see. Okay. Ooh, I need to start dating. Who are the people who um? Um, fix your eyes. <laughs> they get the, the eye surgery. I need to start dating one of them. <laughs> I can never remember. It's ophthalmologist and optometrist. optometrist. Yeah, it's one of them. Like, honey, ophthalmologists would make more money. I think they're. The, I do yeah, I think they do like the surgeries. That, yeah. You're my kind of girl. That's who I need. The one who make the money. <laughs> <laughs> the money. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's who I'm with. All right, y'all ready? We're ready. We're ready. All right, name that book. I, this is one of my favorites. I don't know, maybe because okay, I ain't gonna tell you. Just one of them. All right, <laughs> here we go. Name that book. Fuck being only human. I could Clark Kent the shit out of this moment and open up my mind. Holy shit! That's what I said. I was like, who the fuck wrote that part? <laughs> yeah. I can Clark Kent yeah, this bitch. Clark Kent the shit out of this moment and open up my mind. I have no idea. <laughs> Okay. Okay, I'm thinking really high. Anybody badge would it? I don't think so. Oh, man. Who the hell is that? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck being Cuban. I'm going to look at this shit. I have this moment and open up my mind. Mm, it's an earlier. We haven't made it. It was earlier, yup. Uh -huh. But it was good, too. Uh -huh. I would say it's badge. Okay, mm -hmm. well, is it Thatch? From Banking the not. Billionaire? It's not. Oh! Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh Queen! Wildcat, yes. Oh, my gosh. Yes. The, them boys, the, that whole series, honey. We're going to be bad at this. We're going to be bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's two of y'all. Come on. You supposed know. to be like, okay, wait. I think I wrote that part. No, wait, Paul. You wrote that part. We don't know. <laughs> that is part of our problem is we can't remember who wrote no. what part. We have no, oh, idea. no idea. Well, listen, I can remember who wrote this book, and it was Max Monroe, honey. I'm telling you, <laughs> it was so good. The whole series. That's All right. So Y'all got to do better now, okay? Y'all ready? We're ready. Okay. All right. Name that book. Blind Dates. Online Dating Profile. Been there. Done that. Tapping the billionaire. And that's tapping the billionaire. Yeah, that's tapping the billionaire. Oh, yes. my God. <laughs> <Yes. Woo. laughs> I wish I would have told me what y'all was wearing today so I could put my outfit on, too, so all of us can match it. Next time. Y'all fuck. Next time. Get it together. <laughs> all right. Name that book. Character. Lola Sex. Sex says. Oh, girl. Yeah, we got that one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got that one. That book right there, honey, Miss Lola. I liked her. I liked her now. All we right. She was fun. That yeah. one was so much fun. We thought it was, was fun and was funny. Fun. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Next up, name that book. 
I need a ride. I said to a sexy stranger on a highway. The, the packed. packed. <laughs> the pack. Your latest release. Yes. Yes. Girl. I said, where's the man in with the Harley? What is going on? <laughs> now, I love, you know, this one and the one before that. I don't know. It's the, I think it's the, um, it's the covers. I don't know. The covers yeah. is a little different. They just show uh -huh. the words. It wasn't in the course of sex man on it, but yeah. Yeah. And so can you tell us a little bit about um, the pack before we go on to the next one? Yes. Oh man, we had a lot of fun writing that book. Mm -hmm. So that is a standalone romantic comedy and it's in our Winslow Brothers series. Yes. So mm -hmm. the bet is before that. Mm -hmm. And um, the Winslow Brothers are, I mean, they, they're they a lot, it ended up being a lot steamier than what we expected. Yeah, very um, steamy. The very brothers. steamy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So the pact is a... And fake rain, marriage. Your fake marriage. Yeah, rain yeah. marriage, yeah. Yeah, with forced proximity, which we really love that, mm -hmm. writing that trope. Um, and so you have Flynn, who is like this broody, quiet, but strong yeah. guy. Yeah. He's really good dirty talker. Yes, he is. Or, mm -hmm. um, and then you have Daisy, who is, she needs a little help. Um <laughs> But she's really cute. She says every thought that comes yes. to mind, which is a lot of fun. And yeah, yeah, yeah. We Especially really like mixed one. with how quiet Flynn is. Yeah, <laughs> yes. yeah. Flynn was very quiet until until the bedroom. Now, yeah. exactly. Yeah, and that what threw me. I was like, oh, oh, he, <laughs> oh, oh he's not. He, oh, okay then. So that's the last. Very. So how long, yeah. so how long did it take you guys to write this book? Probably two, two, two months, two I and think. a half months, mm -hmm. probably. Is that yeah. the norm? It's a little bit tricky because he was so, um, he didn't, his dialogue, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. We were yeah. he's probably one of the first guys that he didn't have a lot of dialogue, but I was he about to say that. Yeah, he was, yeah. He yeah. was what you really call a mysterious man. He was a man of yeah. few words. And yeah. that's, but, but, but. Even though he he didn't say a lot, and I thought it was just me because I was smoking that night. Anyway, but even though he didn't, that shade maybe you missed it. <laughs> but, um, he didn't say a lot, but his character was still so well developed that even when he didn't say a lot, mm -hmm. you still heard a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes, yeah. Yes. And I was just like, how they do that? That was the tricky part. With that him. was the tricky part with him because there were a couple times. Um, you know, in revisions or a chapter would get changed up because it's like, he really wouldn't talk that much. Yeah, like, we yeah. got to re redo this mm -hmm. um, because the comfort zone is a character like Thatch, right? For me and the billionaire. Really exuberant well, and it's easy because yeah. they're very full of banter and talk and oh, yeah. Thatch, Thatch or Kelly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that took us yeah. about two and a half months, I'd say, to write it. Mm -hmm. We've written books faster than that. Mm -hmm. Um okay. We try not to mm -hmm. be in that position to write a book that fast. <laughs> but we can. But we can. Uh -huh. um, but this one took us, it was, it might have been more like three months. We to had to dial him time. in more than some yeah. of the others. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay. That makes sense. Look at y'all. Okay. So the pact is awesome. All right. Uh, next up, name that book. Okay. Charming, good time, loving Playboy this person is has never been a one woman man but a single bit of forbidden fruit has often been known to bring even the most determined bachelor to his knees so this is the secret this is the secret is one the coming secret. up okay. yes the upcoming release the secret now i was okay so me and my team you you break the top of us right yeah they was like um uh, let me pull it up so the the cover, right? Yeah. <laughs> Y'all give her the banner so we can see. Okay, so the whole cover, the secret. Absolutely yeah. love it. Now, I was telling my team that because the it's kind of like the other books that's in the series, the Pact and the Bat, but it's like, use that, but then there's a guy that 
you know, comes up. So my, 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 <laughs> my team was like, well, do you think that this would just be the cover since it's the secret and nothing else is on it? Or since it's not out yet, you know, it's like when it's time to be released, the guy will just magically appear. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I said, I don't, to me, I was like, well, cause it's the secret. So maybe it would just be this cover. So my team was like, I don't know. So we split. Half of us was like, maybe I think this is the cover. It would be hot if, you know, because just it's a secret. So you're like, what's yeah. You got to open up, see what it is. And the mother team was like, oh, I think when it get closer to the time, a fine ass man is going to appear, you know, yeah. like out of the darkness. <laughs> <laughs> so, could you please break the tie for us? Could you, it, it, how, yeah. it, look, can you break the tie, first of all? We can. Yes. You okay. are, there will be a hot ass man that will appear. Yes. Oh. <laughs> yeah. he's and very we you know he's he's pretty attractive he's pretty good mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. yeah. no because you two i was like it's a hot ass <laughs> man coming some damn well yeah <laughs> no i do like the take on, i do I, that's really clever yeah you know uh again i, I was high when i was thinking it i was like yo <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was like, it's, it's, really, it's, it's, it's really clever yeah yeah, I was thinking too deep into it. They was like, no, Shay, a fine-ass man is going to appear. I'm like, yeah. either way, he's going to come out the dark. I'm cool with it. But I, we, that was just like <laughs> our take on it. We was like, what the whole hell? Yeah. Absolutely. Like, okay, and speaking of fine-ass men, it brings us to the next segment here, the Bob Book Series, called Who'd You Rather? Okay. Where we, we pitch your heroes against each other and you let us know who you want to knock down one night only, one night stand. I often say... Uh, you know, up against the wall, let them draws fall. We don't okay. talk about love. We talking about okay. nothing. All right. Cool. You know, they can give you a little change when they finish. Give me a little money. Leave it on my stand. That's it. All right. Y'all ready? Ready. Yeah. All right. Who'd you rather? And then we're going to get back to um, the secret. If you could tell us a little bit about that, we'll go back. Because that's the other, um, uh, that's Ty's book. Mr. Yeah, Rigo. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And so we're going to get into that in a few minutes. All right. Next up. First up, you ready? Who'd you right. rather? Is it, oh, oh, that's so hard. That is such a hard uh, one. Mm. I know, but who you want to get hard for you? Oh, <laughs> um, let me think. Let me think. Mm. I okay. I would want to. Can I? Can I cheat here? That I would say I would want to marry Klein, but I would. Oh, and it got stuck. Oh, my God. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Hold on, everybody. We've got a little technical difficulties. We'll be right back. Hold on. Hold on. Still in here? Let's, yo, I'm here. You guys okay. here? Yeah, yes. we're here. Okay. Okay, we got stuck a little bit because you were yeah. talking about marrying somebody. That wasn't, you can't be cheating. You know what I mean? <laughs> I know. I the know. internet gods was like, Yeah. <laughs> Okay, All right. I'll, I'm gonna. I'll go first, and okay. I will say. I'll say Thatch. Mm-hmm. I'll say. Okay. Thatch. All right. He's nice. big. He can probably toss me around a lot. Oh my God. So yeah, one night oh. with Thatch. Okay. I'm, All right. All right. I'll just to be devil's advocate here, and first gut instinct, I'll say Klein. Yeah. Because he's got some. Mm-hmm. He's got some moves. It's not yeah. like he's. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, want like a snub in the. No, not at all. That's why. <laughs> yeah, that was. We just want our back beat out. I went with that too. <laughs> Did you? Yes, because I was like, his name alone made me want to sleep with him. But you know. <laughs> oh my gosh! Yeah, yeah. You were, I said that. I don't know. All of a sudden, I was uh, Thor just popped in my mind. I'm like, yeah. I, I want that. Yes. That's fine. You can have Clyde. I mean, you know what I'm saying? It's cool. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. All right. Next up. Y'all go gag because I did, but I love this. And this is actually, I like the, the um tapping the bean in series too. But this next, this is my favorite series of you guys. This is my favorite. Okay. Who'd you rather, Dr. Will Cummins or Dr. Nick Raines? Oh, I'd choose Will. I would choose Will. I too. like Will because he's a gynecologist. That's why you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Will knows the he spot. knows the way around. Yeah, he, I yes, mean, I know. I love that. I I love this. Is only three books in the series, and I love this series. It was just oh, so. Too. It reminded me of like a general hospital. You know what I'm saying? Yes, 
Yeah, so I, I in general hospital was one of my favorites besides all my children. So I was like, yo, this is cool. Sonny Cruz is gonna come up in, in a few minutes and just say yeah. hi to somebody. <laughs> General so, Hospital uh, was my jam. Yeah. That was my yes. soap. And still to this day, it's the same people. You could find Sonny and Carly. And yes. Everybody's going to be there. Everybody's going to be. That's how I felt about um, all my children. It's like, yo, Erica and Adam and all, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, everybody's going to be there. It was yes. just crazy. And when Palmer passed, when I'm like, oh my God, Palmer died. It's <laughs> over with. <sighs> but I got it. <laughs> All right, next up. <laughs> all right, so everybody went with Will. Cool. Sorry, Nick. Nick, you were cool with those all. You yeah, know, yeah, right. yeah cool. I like him. Yeah, yeah. just you're forced to choose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're yeah. We we want to be. We want to sleep with Will. All right. Last <laughs> up, who'd you rather? Um, I go with Flynn too. Flynn. Oh, yes. I oh, went with Flynn too. I know. And his dirty talking in the I bedroom. Know. Yeah, I'm like Flynn is awesome. He's be uh, nothing against you know. Uh, nothing against you. Yeah, yeah. Nothing against well, you know, Google. Flynn. Our husbands are very similar guys, yeah. and Flynn is a lot like them. Yeah, like, they're not like big talk. Like they're no. not loud, but they're. But when they say stuff, uh -huh. especially like, oh, funny stuff, like real dry humor. Oh my gosh! Yeah, yeah. yeah. My husband's around people. He don't talk a lot, but when he come home, I'll be like. You shut the hell up. <laughs> Jesus. I'm talking about talk and talk and talk and talk. And then my husband would go to sleep and wake up and just I'll be I will be knocked out. Yeah, baby. So that's what I'm saying. I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> like, so he's finishing the conversation he was having when he went in, but I'm asleep and I'm just like, okay, so I'm waking up, like, okay, I don't know what's going on. So yeah, I need a I need a flame in my life. What's my name? Okay. <laughs> So speaking of Flynn, let's go back to his brother, mm -hmm. um, Ty. Yeah. Now that's the upcoming release, The mm -hmm. Secret. Can you tell us a little bit about it? And this coming is um out in uh, April, right? Yeah. April 9th, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, April 9th. So it's coming up real soon. Tell us a little bit about Mr. Ty mm -hmm. Okay. Um, okay, so Ty is um he's an, an like he's wild he, he is. will say oh. anything he um he's he not the kind of guy who's like trying to be um perfectly appropriate all the time no. by any stretch oh. of the imagination I don't know that is. <laughs> his whole past is you know a lot of random women um he's like like jude his brother jude was more one night stands he's, yeah, yeah. He's like, He's, he's like, like a serial he likes dater. companionship, but nothing ever hits. You no. Know? So he's just kind of like, two weeks, it's done. It's done. Bored. He gets very bored, but yeah. he just moves, you know, moves along. But yes, um, he's, he's, <laughs> he's, he's the professor, too. Yes, he's a professor. Yes, I saw that. I was like, oh, shit. Some <laughs> like, small amount of professionalism in his, yes. you know, in his life. Yeah, he's. He he's walks the line for mm -hmm. sure. He's got not very many lines he won't cross, but um, and as it turns out, maybe no lines he won't cross. Yeah. Oh. oh. So he's gonna be very tempted. Yes. This oh. the secret is a lot of push and pull, mm -hmm. a lot of sexual tension. Mm -hmm. Oh. Um, wow. It's a lot of fun to write because yes. of that. Um. So yeah. It's, yeah, I cannot wait to read it. Y'all gonna send me my book now. I, I can't wait to read it. <laughs> I was like, you know, I cannot wait to read it. This is uh, and it, these Winslow brothers. I was just like, okay, this is real, real cute. I really like that. Even though you know, I I got stuck on um the the billionaires. You know, the whole um them because uh -huh. you know. That was cool. I, I was like, okay, this is cute over here. <laughs> but then I don't know. It's something about um your uh the doctor series, Doctor uh, uh Obscene and Doctor um uh, was it the Doctor Nero. That the, yes. those three books were just I don't know. They're like a comfort books for me, if that makes sense. Yeah. Yes. I don't know why it is, and I just sleep whatever. I just <laughs> yeah, <laughs> comfort I'm doing. Like I like that. <laughs> I like those three books. Even Scott, Scott was the third book, right? 
Scott Scott was second. second. Yeah. Scott was second. Was yeah. Third. yeah. Dr. E. R. Yeah. Yeah. Was, yeah. So yes. It was with Scott. I was like, that's the, the diagnostic murder of it all. Like it was so freaking cool. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah. That, honey. I said, look at them. <laughs> I got the soap opera over here. I absolutely love it. Absolutely oh, love you. it. Now, how now the publishing part of it though, because you guys are both individually, uh, individually, were you assign, were you um, indie authors or were you hybrid or were you just both, just full yeah. blown traditional? We were indie on our own. Mm -hmm. um, okay, okay, cool. And we're mostly so, we're self published in the U.S. We, you know, we have publishers for our audiobooks and our international books, mm -hmm. um, but we've. It's something we plan on doing at some point, going hybrid where we'll do a traditional deal. But mm -hmm. we, it's kind of hard for us with giving up control. Mm, yeah, um, yeah. We've got our thing. And so we've been a little hesitant <laughs> of taking and it works. Mm -hmm. next step. Yeah. Yes. So, but you know, down the road, we probably will. It'd be like one book. We'd try a book, is it, what I think. Right. Would we happen. wouldn't commit to like a whole, no, whole thing. Just try one. Because which is crazy because and it speaks to your um shit your your work because you guys are New York Times USA Today's bestseller authors as indie authors that is an an amazing accomplishment. It's pretty Thank wild. You. Thank you. We don't. Yeah, it's uh, crazy. Yeah, <laughs> that is damn crazy. It's like what what book was it that you know you're like oh shit we 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 made <laughs> the list. Uh, it was tapping the billionaire hit. New, New York, York Times, Times and USA Today. And then we've had two other books hit USA, USA Today. Today. Mm -hmm. um, Dr. OB is one of them. Yes, yes I am. Um, and, and then we kind of... Well, we, we shifted away from being widely yes. published. So we, we focus more on being in Kindle Unlimited. And with the way that works, um, you don't really get considered for lists anymore. No. So, but we kind of... Yeah, mm -hmm. we kind of moved on from... Yeah, it. I mean, we, we did it. I know that sounds, but like we felt like, okay, we did it. Yeah. And then that wasn't our main goal anymore. We right. just wanted to take that away from you. That's, you know, yeah. you got that, accomplished that. And then, yeah, yes. I did it. Yeah. And Kindle Unlimited helps us reach more people, more people, mm -hmm. um, which what was what we want to do. So, mm -hmm. yes. That's so freaking cool. You guys are amazing. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely love it. And if you did do a, pro, a, a, a publishing deal, well, I guess they would have to just, how does that work when you come in as a, a, a duo? Well, they would just grab the duo. You guys get the same deal or would they work it out individually? Like a, Yeah, like, that's how our audio is in our um, foreign mm -hmm. deal. It um, would just be for mm -hmm, the work of the from the pseudonym, from yeah. our yeah. Okay. name, we would just that makes sense. Mm -hmm. That makes sense, honey. Well, I hope y'all stay friends forever because we need these. I'm just Thank saying. You. We, we hope we do too. We do too. <laughs> That's the plan. Yeah, because I was like, yo, their writing style is just amazing. All right, coming up, author's moments. You guys can answer these questions together. Or you can answer them individually. Okay. What's your most urgent priority for the rest of the year? In the literary world and in the, you know, the world of Max Monroe. Okay. okay. Um, what's our most urgent priority for this year? Um, well, I mean, finishing the books that we're supposed to finish on time is, is yeah. always number one. Yes. But I would say that um, one of our main priorities, we do try to set kind of something that we're trying to branch into mm -hmm. um, every year. Last year, we really focused on our newsletter and while we continue to focus on our newsletter, now this year we're also trying to really, really go into TikTok. Yeah, we've been really we've been working on trying it. to be consistent on TikTok, which we've been having a lot of fun with that. Um, so that's... Yeah, learn how to do this TikTok. Yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah you need to. Yeah, that's probably um, the most urgent priorities. Mm -hmm. When it comes to us personally, I think we're both seeking a work-life balance, which it feels mm -hmm. like that's what we're always doing. Constantly. But yes. Yeah. We're trying to do that more because we yeah. tend to work too much. We right. tend to get the work going all the yeah, time. Yeah. Y'all need have a little more fun. Y'all be trying to have a little more fun. Just a little yeah. bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> just a hint of it. Just, just a, a hint of it. Yeah. All right. Cool. All right. That's what's up. All right. All this moments. And being a novelist, what did you learn a little too late? 
Mm. What do you think we learned too late with? Well, I don't know that you ever say, okay, three years ago, I would have felt like we should have known that we learned a little too late. Like, for example, making sure you cultivate your newsletter list, right? Mm -hmm. Um, But I also, the further we get in the career, the more I feel like you realize the things time to start making the changes or the adjustments that you need to make. Mm -hmm. Um, So I don't know. I, I mean, I think that's, you're always learning. And the one thing we've been consistent in is we are always willing to change or pivot, you know, depending on the industry. So, um, I don't think, I think that's what we learned too late yeah. is that you don't necessarily get it perfect from the start. Yeah. And then you just have to be able to manage a mistake or work when you get to it. Yeah. And you can't focus on too many things Uh, at once. Like that's why we pick like one thing a year. Like last year we really were focused on our newsletter. You like, if you're going to start social media, you don't say I'm going to hit every social media platform. No, like you can start and have a presence on them, but like focus on one platform Mm -hmm. to really grow. Yes. Um, You can't do everything at once. No, you can't. Right. That makes sense. That yeah. totally makes sense. And that's, uh, I hear a lot of people to a lot of authors and just like in the, just people in general, uh, that social media is just a beast. The whole marketing process itself. And for you guys who are, you publish, you know, you're self published, it's like you're, you're doing everything by yourself. I'm sure you have right. a, you know, a team, but you don't have like, you know, the, the um, mighty publishing companies, or whatever, pushing it for you. Right. So you guys are awesome, though, honey. Y'all is y'all. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm talking about, I love it. All right, author's moments. Okay. What are you most grateful for right now in this moment? I'm grateful for you. Oh, that's really sweet. <laughs> <laughs> you so sweet. That she's gonna be like, that's that's so sweet. Yes. And I'm grateful for no, I'm just grateful for um I mean, I'm grateful for being what we where we are. Yeah. And being able to just appreciate it and the presence of mind to just live it and not yeah. be feeling, you know, not recognizing where, where we of, are, where we yeah. are, where all of our, yeah. our hard work has gotten us or that kind of thing. I'd be great. I'd say that's what I'm grateful for. Yeah. And like, obviously having a support system. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, made me cry. Okay. <laughs> Office moments. If you could have tea with one fictional character of yours, who would it be? And why? Mm-hmm. Mm. That's a tough one. What having tea or the? Uh, just like, <laughs> I am no, the character. <laughs> I would. I'm just gonna have to say Thatch, just because I feel like he's the most. The you top with what's gonna happen. Not, yeah, we're not talking about sleeping with anymore. You can't have you, you can't. You can't. You, you see, she's trying to double dip. You I know. Well, but can you? But he is. You never know what's gonna happen. No, you never know what's true. gonna come out of his mouth. I mean, you're going for tea, and then who knows what's gonna? Who happen. knows where you'd end up? Yeah, you wouldn't. It wouldn't just be tea. It, it definitely, it'd be something totally different. Yeah. Um. Who would I pick? I think I'd pick a really. I would pick a secondary character, actually. I mean, Thatch would be great. But I would love to have tea with Georgia's parents, oh. Dick and Savannah yeah. Cummings. Yeah, um, oh. Because her mom's the sex therapist, and then her dad is just like, he's just so funny. No filter, yeah. No filter. No filter. Now, see, the piggyback off of that, the, and that's what threw me to because his mom's the sex therapist. So I was like, okay. So, no, you know, I, I just like re- really search your catalog. Because I was like, is there a book? on them you know what i'm saying because i yeah. want because i was like she was such there you know is there something did i miss something I'm like did they talk about the parents already and now this is you know an earlier book so did you guys ever think about just writing like a, a short little novella you know we could. we could i actually have never considered it but i haven't either but that really would be fun uh-huh. writing those they two. would be a lot of fun especially how they came together and mm-hmm. yeah I, I thought, crazy. look, yeah. like, I was all up in your mind. I was like, look, this would be hot. Like, it'd be like General Hospital. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All, but, but but now instead of being based around the hospital, be based around her sex therapy. Yes. Yeah, like, yeah that would cute. be really cute. That funny. would be a lot of fun. Yeah, that would be. Y'all need to look into that, girl, because listen, we want to read something like that. That's, that's cute. <laughs> all right, cool. All right, at this moment, 
If you guys could sit down with your 15 year old self, what would you tell her? Um, man, I mean, me at 15, <laughs> and we all went through some, some rough times at 15. Yeah. I feel like yeah. that when you're a 15 year old girl, my niece, um, one of my nieces is 13 mm -hmm. and it, it reminds me a lot, you know, you can be so insecure when you're a teenager. Um, and you also want to like, I, you wanted to have everything figured out and like, you shouldn't mm -hmm. do that. Like, just enjoy the ride. Like, don't, um, don't feel like you have to figure yourself out mm -hmm. at 15. Um, because you're always going to be learning stuff about yourself and you're always going to be evolving as a person. So, right. um, and you'll eventually get boobs. I'd probably have to tell myself that too. <laughs> <laughs> Real or fake, they will come. They will come. You will get boobs one day. Don't stress about it. Uh -huh. <laughs> I love it. I absolutely love it. Yeah. Um, I was a pretty like self-confident 15-year-old mm -hmm. as far as like knowing who I was. But um, I also was, I mean, I sometimes it wasn't the popular thing or the, you mm -hmm. know, and I would just tell myself that that's, it was it was good and okay to be that way. And, you know, it'll help you when you're an adult to still have that kind of know, you know, know your own worth and who you are and you don't yeah. have to be like everyone else. That makes sense. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Y'all look at y'all, honey. Y'all listen, y'all had good sense when y'all 15. All right. <laughs> <laughs> At this moment. Now, Max Monroe is your pen name. Mm -hmm. If you guys can pick another pen name, what oh. would it be? First of all, how did you guys come up with Max Monroe? Because that's not nowhere near your name. So how do you <laughs> we don't even know. I'm gonna be honest with you. We have no idea. We have no clue how it we just came up with it. Felt right. It just <laughs> felt like that's what we should be. <laughs> that's all. That's literally the only explanation we have for uh -huh. it. Um, what would our pen name be? This is I really have not thought about it do you think we would use our real names our real first names i don't think so because i don't like it enough <laughs> <laughs> natalie laurel laurel natalie laurel natalie laurel yeah i know yeah. that sounds british though that's cute yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah you had to, to write sweet romance no with that name, you either have to write sweet romance, nothing in between, or all the way. Yeah. The Super dirty. Yeah. Like yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. That's cute, though. Y'all should think about that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Authors moments. If you could um, master any instrument on earth, what would it be? Ooh. My mind just went totally sexual with that. <laughs> <laughs> what instrument you want to master? <laughs> oh, I'm like, mm. no, I'm gonna try to think of something that's not in the gutter. Um, Listen, we live for the gut over here. <laughs> yeah, I feel like this is really strange and the most random thing, okay. and it's not something I've like spent time thinking about. Yeah, but the first thing that came to mind was a fiddle. A fiddle? I would love to know how to play a fiddle. Oh, fiddle. I would, if it was an instrument, it would be a violin. I love violin. That's in the same neighborhood. Violin. It is. I That's love it. violin. All right, and if it wasn't an instrument? Mm. Penis. <laughs> I would want to know. To not master. that I, I mean, I think I, I'm I'm <laughs> confident in my skills, but. You'd want to be. I would. Like, Pro extreme yeah. man like PhD. What is that called? There's like some kind of massage. It's called something. It's a whole. I mean, people do not it. a happy ending. Massage. <laughs> <laughs> There's a word for it. Um, I can't think of what it's called. But yeah, I mean, some of these women, they can. They don't even have to touch it, and they. Happy ending. What do they do? Like a voodoo? <laughs> you need to find out what that is. That <laughs> Why have I not heard it's of this not, before? It's a real thing. She says the voodoo. <laughs> not, like massage around the stomach, the legs. I mean, sometimes I watch weird documentaries. 
<laughs> so you know what? Because I was looking at the what is called like that that ah uh, uh, ten, tantric tantric it's tantric massage tantric like, massage. Oh, now yes, and you know what? With that though, we got to find the right person that can teach you because now everybody you see like so many different people are trying to teach you the techniques. Yeah, and I'm like that did not work. So we had to go to like a real place. A real. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I'm with that. Look at you. Yeah, that would be, you know, my husband wouldn't know what to do with himself if I, <laughs> well, I'd end up being like using it funny wise. Yeah. Like, for him, but <laughs> being a grocery store, be like, stop doing that. <laughs> <laughs> you better stop. You better stop, stop it. You better stop, stop it. Right. Or, or if you know how to talk to it, if I knew how to talk in the, I would call my husband at work. What you doing, babe? I'm in the middle. Of the <laughs> I need about two minutes of your time. Just, just why you know I me? Mean? Just listen. Oh, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Look, y'all need to research that and let me know. So, I, look, do y'all? If y'all need somebody to go to the place <clears throat> and learn it, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Tell so y'all. You know what I'm saying? I, I can do that for y'all. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. Yeah. Perfect. It takes a village to learn how to milk. It does. Time. Yeah. <laughs> So you can phone a friend if you're in yeah. need. What was I'll that tell one you. move? Yeah, what's that one move? Yeah. What's that yeah. one move? I love it. All right, author's moments. What is the one dream that you've tucked away? I don't think we've tucked any dreams away. No. We have open timelines on all mm -hmm. of our dreams. We don't ever say necessarily like, this year or five years from now, mm -hmm. or ten, it's really kind of open-ended. We just have dreams and then one day at a time work towards them. Yeah. That makes sense. I like mm -hmm. that. All right. At this moment, what's something you try really hard to like, but just couldn't like I tried, but hell no, I can't. Sorry. Didn't mm -hmm. like it. Just um, didn't like it. I don't something um, really hard to like. I mean, Onions? <laughs> you don't like onions? onions? No, don't like I, onions. I want to like onions because I actually don't mind the taste of onions, but I have a thing with onions. Yeah. Like they make me feel like ill immediately. I don't oh, think yeah. I have like an actual allergy to them, but. No, it's an aversion. I have an aversion. aversion. And like my mom says that when she was pregnant with me, she couldn't eat onions. Mm -hmm. So I feel oh, okay. like. Okay. It's a something, thing. yeah. So it is weird. Well, something but... that I wish that I could like, like camping, right? <laughs> right. Like, yeah. I can see that. Like she, she does because she she's got the look down for like an outdoorsy like she hiking. Does. I need a pier outdoorsy. She wants but I, it, but she can't. I need a hotel nearby. Uh -huh. Like if I'm we're gonna a go real hotel nearby. Yeah, uh -huh. I'm not. Yeah, I'll do a hike. But I need to have a place with a, a TV and a shower and stuff. Yeah, that's it. I'm I'm with all of that. It's so crazy. Me and my friends, we went hiking, but we, we first, but we checked in this luxury hotel. You don't have to have the, the fire pit out back. Yeah. And so they was like, okay, sure, let's get ready to go. I was like, girl, whatever. So I went out back and I was in front of the fire pit and I was like, I just started eating my snacks out there. I'm like, I think this is the most camping that your girl is gonna be able to do. Yeah, that's a, yes. That's I want exactly to I want I want to hold the pitch the tent, the whole, you know, I want to do all that, but where I'm gonna sleep at when all this happens, you know, I go through the process, but yeah. then I'm like, okay, this is great. Take all this shit down and I'll see y'all at the hotel. Oh, in the hotel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like yeah. sleeping outdoors. There's too many stuff out there. Just There's yeah. way too much stuff out there. Way too much stuff. I'm I'm with you on that. I'm with you on that. All right, last up, Arthur's moments. Okay. What's what are you amazingly good at besides writing? Amazingly good at when you like do do you be like yo I, this shit here I'm hot at this this is my this is my gig right here. What are you really good at? I'm trying to think. I don't know what I. Yeah. I mean, since we don't know the tantric, look, we don't know the tantric uh, stuff yet. Once we know the tantric stuff, the tantric stuff, yeah. we got, we're good at that. But yeah, <laughs> I'm good at that. I like to believe I'm really good yeah, at that. Yeah, have me Who back knows? in a year and I'll be like, tantric massage is My what I'm really good My husband has a good 
is good at pretending I'm good at it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's just like, keep doing it, baby. Whatever, just keep doing it. Keep doing it, yeah. Um, uh, what am I good at? Um, I mean, I, that would be writing. No, I'm not good. I know the things I'm not good at. <laughs> Cold calling people. Yeah. Woo, not good. Yeah. No. I think that I am good at... <clears throat> finding moments of humor. Like if we oh. were all out together and maybe tension would occur for some reason, right. I am probably very skilled at finding the moment of making it focus more on humor than the tension. Yeah. More like conflict resolution. That shit. Yeah, I'm good at, and I'm just good at being silly. Like I'm mm -hmm. very good at that. Me too. I'm good at staying positive very oh, most of the great. time. I mean, I think everybody has like a moment every yeah. now and then, but I keep a very positive mindset most yeah. of the time. That's yeah. what's up. Your base core, your character uh, is positive. So that's yeah. how you, okay, I'm with y'all on that. Okay, cool. Look at y'all. Big <laughs> ruffers and shit. Cool. <laughs> All right. Max Monroe, dead or alive. If you can host a dinner party, and could invite five people from any era, who would it be? Dead or alive? Are we hosting this together? Do we pick five people? You can pick yeah. five to, five individually. Okay. You want to do it together? Is this our dinner party? I think that would be more interesting. Okay, yeah. We'll do ours. Okay. okay. So I, my first person, I want Coco Chanel to be uh, there. Girl. Yeah. I love her. Yeah. I mean, she's dead. I have, not, I have nothing by Chanel, but I love Chanel. I it's love funny. Chanel, too. Her story, ooh, that, ooh it's yeah. amazing. It's yeah, amazing. She like, where are you going? Ooh, yes. All right. Um, Kelly Clarkson. You we mean, would we would invite her? Yeah. We went through a whole Kelly Clarkson phase. We did uh, Kelly Clarkson. Too. Yeah. Um. Then we'd have to invite Britney Spears. Dad, what was that look on your face over there? She was like, no, no, we were. I'm thinking. That's my I'm thinking face. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> Spears. Yeah. Um. And then actually, I think maybe Snoop Dogg because I feel like it would really liven it up. Yeah, we should. H him That's and Kelly good. would liven it up. And then Betty White. Betty White. Oh, Betty yes. White. Yes. That's so That's high table. Yeah. Okay. That's cool. Look at y'all. Cute, cute, cute. <laughs> All right. You girl, listen, this has been an awesome interview. We have one question left. But before we get to this last question, I just want to say it. Thank you guys for coming on. Thank you guys you. are just so beautiful. And I'm so freaking excited. I was like, I was so happy when they told me I'll get to talk to y'all. I'm like, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> you were excited. We're really excited. This, this is fun. So fun. Yeah. And thank you. Like you're so you're so energetic and fun. I know. And we yeah. We thank really you. Excited you guys are awesome. All right. So before we ask this last question, please let everybody know. About you know everything, all things Max Monroe. Where can they go get your social media, um, your websites, and where can they find your books? And then reiterate the upcoming release of The Secret. And then when that fine ass man is gonna be on the cover, we need to know. All <laughs> yes. So our website is authormaxmonroe.com. Um, actually, if you go to our website, there is a free book which is um, based okay. off of the Winslow Brothers. And it's you, a prequel. It's mm -hmm. a prequel to the series. It's a lot of fun to read. Um, so that's free. You can download that. That's on the website. Mm -hmm. um, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok. We're author Max Monroe there. Mm -hmm. um, so you can find us there. Um, what else? Um, if you go to our, on our website, you can sign up for our newsletter, which is we are – in direct communication there yes we send out a weekly newsletter actually that's not not like promo -y or spammy i mean if we have a release or something but it's it's new content entertainment we just try to have fun in it yes um yeah and then the secret comes the out the secret comes out april in april 9th mm -hmm. and that's ty's book and it's yeah. um romantic comedy standalone and it's a forbidden romance, which is yeah. so much fun. Very steamy. Yeah. I love it. I love me old professor. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Last question of the interview. Mm -hmm. And I need you guys to answer it individually. 
Okay. All right. If you were writing a book about your life, what would the title be? <laughs> you saw my face. Mm. Well, as a, a, a precursor to this, just titling our books is really hard. Mm -hmm. That We have a hard time with it. So this is like a, a whole new challenge. Titling the book of my life. Totally yeah. Right. yeah. Um, it would be about my life. Um, she's trying. <laughs> she's trying. Girl, let me tell you. That's uh, the book of everybody's life. <laughs> she's trying. Okay. It'd be me on the cover, like, uh, you know, awkward. Uh -huh. It'd be you in uh, in a hiking uh in, in yes. hiking. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um I would say mine would be called I'm here to stay because no matter what, I'm just <laughs> I'm here. I'm, I'm here. We're yeah. here through it. That's I good. absolutely love that. You guys are so <laughs> I'm gonna cry. I'm just going to cry. I absolutely love it. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome and please just give a round of applause for award-winning New York Times USA Today's best-selling authors, the dynamic duo, Max Monroe. Yay! Thank you. <laughs> you guys are awesome songs. Okay, hold one second for me. I'll be right back. Okay. okay. All right, if you love the interview, and I know you did, please like, subscribe, and share with your friends. Every Wednesday night, we're here at 6 o'clock. 6 o'clock, Brown Book Series is on. Uh, we right here, you know? So tell everybody, because we have some of the most amazing authors that you just do not want to miss. And also, starting now, <laughs> you can check us out at 7 o'clock every, every Wednesday night at Cruise Radio. That's Cruise Radio, 102.9 Cruise Radio. All the information will be in the description box below. So, hey, it's, it's, it's a wild Wednesday, just what we do. And if you have not already purchased your ticket for the Raw Experience, please do so now. It's rawexperience.com, R-R-A-W, experience.com. I'm going to see, can we trick Max Monroe into coming and... Uh, <clears throat> Blessing y'all, you know, a little bit. You know what I'm saying? They they good time girls. We have a good time. And then while they after they finish signing y'all books, we can go over and find some um tantric people. Anywho, <laughs> oh, you guys have a good one. Be blessed. And uh I see y'all next week. Open up your brown book, baby. It's for you, it's for us, the fantasies. No one can judge us, no one can judge us. This is for us. Open up your brown.